So, <clears throat> um, you know, I can't believe I forgot to go to the gym today. And, uh, you know, that's seven years in a row now. So, <laughs> <laughs> I have to get, we'll get, get working on that one. Mm. Um, so a doctor's talking to the patient. The doctor says, I'm sorry, but you suffer from a terminal illness and you only have 10 to live. Mm. And the patient's like, what the hell you mean, 10? 10 what? 10 months? 10 weeks? The doctor's like, 9, 8. <laughs> mm. 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 Uh, a man asks a farmer near a field, he says, sorry, sir, would you, uh, would you mind if I crossed your field instead of going around it? You see, I got to catch the 423 train. And the farmer says, sure, go right ahead. And if my bull sees you, you'll even catch the 411 train. <laughs> <laughs> a husband and wife sit at the table having dinner. The woman drops a little bit of tomato sauce on her white top. She goes, ah, I look like a pig. The man nods and he says, and you dropped tomato sauce on your top. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, that's nasty. Oh, that's gross. Son's talking to his mother. Actually, his mother's talking to the son, and the mother says, Anton, do you think I'm a bad mother? And he's like, my name's Paul. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, my dog used to chase people on a bike a lot. It got so bad, finally I had to take his bike away. <laughs> <laughs> that damn dirty scoundrel. Hold on, let me open this beer. Because uh, I'm, I'm related to Ron Tater Salad White. That's why I like to drink on stage. Um, <laughs> a mother's talking to uh, her son. She says, how was school today, Patrick? Like, it was really great, Mom. Today we made explosives. It's like, ooh, they do very fancy stuff with you these days. And what will you do at school tomorrow? And Patrick says, what's school? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> oh, you know. My wife suffers from a drinking problem, and uh, my buddy goes, oh, is she an alcoholic? I'm like, no, I am, but she's the one who suffers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> you know, when I was in the Army, I managed to lose my rifle. I had to pay $855 to cover the loss. I'm starting to understand why Navy captains always go down with the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody here know who Coco Chanel is? Mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Of course. Okay. Yes. Coco Chanel once said that if you should put you should put perfume of uh, perfume on places where you want to be kissed by a man. Hell, does that shit burn, right? Mm. Uh. <laughs> be careful with that. <laughs> Jesus. You know, a wife goes to consult a psychiatrist about her husband. My husband is acting so weird. He drinks his morning coffee, then he goes and he eats the mug, and he only leaves the handle. I don't understand what's going on. The psychiatrist says, uh, yeah, that's weird. The handle's the best part. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor says to a patient, do you play sports? The patient says, does sex count? Doctor's like, yeah, of course. The patient says, then no. <laughs> you know, in Spain, there's a tradition after a bullfight to serve the mayor of the bull's testicles. One day after a bullfight, the mayor asks the waiter, funny, why are they so small today? And the waiter says, the bull won. <laughs> <laughs> Harry prays to God. He says, dear Lord, make me win the lottery. The next day, Harry begs to the Lord again, please make it so I win the lottery, Lord. And the next day, Harry prays again, please, please, dear Lord, make me win the lottery. Suddenly, he hears a booming voice from above, and it says, Harry, would you kindly go and buy a fucking lottery ticket already? <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> a wife complains to her husband, let's look at that couple down the road. How lovely are they? He keeps holding her hand, kissing her holding the door for her. Why can't you do the same? The husband says, are you mad? I barely know that lady. Reads <laughs> <laughs> on fire. Do you know why women aren't allowed in space? To avoid scenarios like Houston, we have a problem. And they're like, what's mm -hmm. the problem? Yeah, great. Pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh... <laughs> 
You know, me and my wife decided that we don't want to have children anymore. So anybody who wants one can leave us their phone number and address, <laughs> and we'll bring you one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, th th this is what men did in a succession of, I guess, every 50 to 100 years or so. A man in 1845 would say, I just killed a buffalo. A man in 1952 would say, I just fixed the roof. And a man in 2018 would say, I just shaved my legs. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Cy was here because he likes time travel. But, you know, he's not. But, you know, I thought I'd tell you a good time travel joke, but you didn't like it. So. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> You know, I was sitting in a bar one day, and two really large women came in talking and in a very interesting accent. So I said, cool accent. Are you two ladies from Ireland? And one of them snarled at me. She's like, it's Wales, Dumbo. Mm -hmm. So I corrected myself. Oh, right. So are you two whales from Ireland? <laughs> <laughs> that's about as far as I remember. <laughs> <laughs> and then everything blacked out after that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two guys are out hunting in the woods when one of them collapses. He doesn't appear to be breathing. His eyes are glazed over. The other man pulls out his phone with trembling fingers, and he calls 911. He gasps, my friend's dead. What, do I, what can I do? And the operator says, please stay calm. I'll help you. First of all, let's make sure he's dead. And there's a silence, and then you hear, boom, gunshot. Then the guy gets back on the phone and says, okay, now what? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, uh, that's pretty much all I have prepared. I might can find something else later, but <laughs> thanks. <Amazon>. Okay. <laughs> there Give was a break, the... everyone. Yay for break. Yay, Yay for break. Yay. Awesome. I did.